And now let's work on another optimization problem. And we're going to solve it with calculus using derivatives. So a store sells 30 TV sets every week at $200 each. The manager realized that if you were to increase the price of each TV set by $10, so the, the price increases by $10. This is an arrow, by the way, going up. He would sell four less TV sets per week. So the quantity goes down by four. If this pattern continues for each $10 price hike, meaning that if he increases the price by 20, the quantity goes down by eight and so on, find the price that would maximize the revenue for the store. All right, so we wanna maximize the revenue. And what is revenue? Revenue is price times quantity. So, so far, the price is $200 and the quantity is 30 every week, of course. Now, if, if he increases the price by $10, so I'm going to put a 10 times X here. We're going to talk about this X in a moment. The quantity will go down by four units. So what does the X represent here? It represents a single $10 price increase. Okay, so for each $10 price increase, if X were to be one here, we would get 200 for the price and the quantity, the new quantity would be 26, right? Because the quantity would fall by four units, four less people would buy TVs. So now what do we need to do? I want to expand the revenue function here. And then we actually want to optimize. We want to find the maximum value for the revenue. So let's expand this. I'm going to just FOIL 200 times 36,000 minus, why is it minus? Well, 200 times negative 4x is negative 800x, then 10x times 30, 300x, and 10x times negative 4x, negative 40x squared. Fantastic. Now, let's combine like terms. These I'm going to just add up. I'll put the negative 40x squared in front. I prefer it to be in front. I don't know why. Well, just because, you know, it's nice to have ax squared plus bx plus c. The negative 800x plus 300x is minus 500x. And we have the 6,000 right here. We're adding 6,000 because it's positive. Great. Now, how do we optimize using, using derivatives and uh, with calculus? Well, we take the derivative of the revenue function with respect to x and set that equal to zero. So negative 40 times two, because we bring the exponent down, we're taking the derivative, we get negative 80 x to the one. Why is it to the one? Well, because we subtract one from the exponent. The derivative of negative 500 x is just negative 500, and the derivative of 6,000 is zero. And why is that? Well, because the derivative of constant is always zero. So we're gonna make that equal to zero because we want to optimize. So we have negative 80 x equal minus 500 equals zero. And why do we do this again? Why do, do we set the derivative equal to zero? Because look at this, if we have a revenue function, the maximum value, which is what we want, we want to maximize the revenue, the slope at the maximum is zero. And the slope can be found through the derivative, so we set the derivative equal to zero. So let's solve for x. By the way, this little graph here is just an illustration. The revenue function might not look like that. So I'm going to add 500 to both sides of the equation. Then I can div divide both sides by negative 80. So what is that going to work out to be? Not an integer. Let me just grab my calculator. There 
there we go. I'm very slow today, so that's why I need a calculator to perform this simple division. So we get negative 6.25. And what does that mean? Well, we want to find the price that would maximize the revenue for the store. And remember that the price is this. It's 200 plus 10 times the value of x. Now, this is the value of x that makes for the maximum revenue. Because this is the revenue function is going to work out to be a, a parabola that looks something like that, right? Face is down. So if I plug in the negative 6.25 here for x, I get the price. What price? The price that maximizes the revenue. So 10 times negative 6.25 is negative 62.5. And 200 minus 62.5 is equal to $137.50. And this is the price that maximizes the revenue. You can try different price combinations. None of them, according to this revenue function, will provide us with the maximum, with a greater revenue. So that's it.